Good morning, good morning, everyone. Listen, you saying she has on the same clothes she had on Monday? Yes, because you know what? I am still in Denver. Yes, still in Denver, still having a happy um, attitude because I'm still relishing in the dynamic experience I had in Dallas. But hey, you can't quit. I am I'm still persevering, trying to get home. I will get home. Um, flights have been canceled due to uh, weather. Uh, actually got on the plane to come home to Louisville. They canceled the flight because the pilot had worked too long. And so um, we're gonna do Tuesdays with Tanya, the Denver edition. Uh, and I'm doing live and, and living color experience. And I'm talking about how to quit quitting forever. And what I learned since I've been trying to get home, uh, since Monday at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. is that sometimes God will put you in a situation where you have no other choice but to keep going. There is no quitting whatsoever. Why? Because things are not in your control at all. And so I learned that, that sometimes he will put you in a position where you can't quit, you gotta keep going because you are not in control. Circumstances are beyond your control. And what you have to do is put on a happy face and keep doing. And that's what I was doing. I was determined to keep my Dallas delight, uh, regardless of the situation. And so, how do we quit, quit, quit quitting forever? This is what I learned. I have been trying to get home since 9 a.m. yesterday. Um, and we have to deal with situations, whether we like them or not. And it's a choice. Uh, I had to make a choice whether I was going to be upset, frustrated, fuss, you know, get upset. And I decided, no, there is nothing I can do. Nothing whatsoever. So that's the first thing. If you want to quit quitting forever, sometimes you just have to embrace the situation. It is what it is circumstances on a, going to be beyond your control yes you're going to get frustrated yes you're going to get discouraged and disappointed and feel defeated but you have to make a choice a choice whether continue to be positive continue to keep going continue to say hey i have to go with the flow and that's what i learned through this experience you have to go with the flow um and you have to realize, listen, once you go with the flow, there are three other things you have to do. Because sometimes in life, situations are going to be delayed. Circumstances are going to be canceled. I was in a holding pattern also for about an hour. So sometimes you're going to be in a holding pattern. And you got to keep circling and circling around because situations on the ground are not safe for you to land. And so what, what, what can you do? How can you stop quit, quit quitting forever? First of all, you have to release the feelings of control and release those thoughts that everything is going to be just like you planned. They're not. Nothing's gonna be perfect. So release those feelings, release those attitudes. Things are gonna happen. And once you release that, hey, I'm not in control, your mindset changes. I'm telling you, everyone around me was upset, trying to yell at the uh, workers, fussing, cussing. I was like, nope, I am going to be determined to keep my delight because what? There is nothing I can do. I have to sit in Denver, sit in Denver until about 2 p.m. today, preferably, and I can get on a plane and be home tonight at 8. So first of all, you have to release uh, controlling situations and believing that everything's going to per be perfect. Two, after you release that, sometimes you have to say, hey, I need to revise, reroute my uh, plan. Uh, and do something different go a different way 
so you won't quit especially when you are held up or things are not going the way you plan sometimes you just need to reroute revise it go another way and go another direction so you won't get that be frustrated and feel so discouraged that you say you know enough is enough i'm gonna quit no reroute your your plans revise your plans go a different way there's nothing wrong with that lastly sometimes you have to go refru refuel yourself these are things i'm learning all things that happen to me today refuel yourself you cannot continue to fly high towards your destination especially when you keep going in circles and you're in a holding pattern you're going to have to refuel and however you need to refuel yourself is how you need to refuel yourself maybe you need to get away maybe you need to turn off that cell phone maybe you need to go to a park and think do whatever you need to do to refuel yourself because when you do not refuel you will but deplete yourself run out of uh, energy and and probably <laughs> crash so how do you quit quitting forever first you need to release the fact that you are you can control things and that things are going to be perfect release that some things are just beyond your control and you have to deal with it uh, reroute or revise your plans and then lastly refuel yourself when you do those things you want to develop a, a new mindset a new attitude a new energy to keep persevering towards your goal if not you're going to deplete yourself and be discouraged and feel defeated and you're going to say what i might as well get up give up but you cannot quit you can't quit there's no other option but to keep going because you have a, a destination to get to and sometimes you just say hey it's beyond my control i gotta do what i need to do and go where i need to go and quitting is not an option all right you guys so i gave you two seats with tanya the denver edition because i'm still in denver um trying to get home so y'all pray for me pray for my travels pray that we i will get be able to catch this flight at two o'clock today so i can see my family um next week will be our last uh installment for our christmas in july segment and I will be talking about how you can get up after life knocks you down. I'm going to give a very personal story. What happened when when my mom died? I felt like the wind was knocked out of me, and I did. I was just discombobulated and didn't believe that there was life after death, especially the death of the woman who gave me life. So I'm going to talk about that next week, and then August we're going to be talking about topics for my book relationship rerun now remember if you haven't got any of my books uh, especially yes i am enough you can inbox me and i'll send you a link or you can visit tanyawhite.com the store there it is also on amazon i have a kindle version and a hard copy version so go get yes i am enough remember um i will be having some great new services that i will announce this week as soon as i get home and uh put them on my site i believe you all are going to be pleased it's going to be what some of you need and i look forward to working with you all uh, on these new services and boot camps and um things to get you especially if you're an author uh, if you want branding and marketing tips i have uh magnetic marketing and branding boot camp one-on-one -on -one sessions for about five weeks uh, authors accountability academy and then a book birthing consultation maybe you don't need my help to uh, self-publish the book and maybe you just need consultation on how to self-publish I'm gonna have all those things and I got some more great things why because I've been in Dallas being poured into by the run conference dr. Kaz uh, and her team did an exquisite job. Be there in 2019 because we're going to pack out Cowboys Stadium. It's going to be epic, beyond epic. All right, so thank you for tuning in live and thank you for listening uh, to the replay. Remember, uh, yes, you are enough. 
you don't you don't have to quitting does not have to be an option you can persevere towards your goal when you remember that things are beyond your control sometimes you need to reroute your uh, destination or your plans to get to your destination and lastly you need to refuel yourself so you don't deplete yourself all right i love you guys keep me in your prayers pray that i get home safely today uh, and i'll talk to you later